today uh, we're going to go after some squirrels and uh, we're going to try some different stuff. I made me a little action cam hat here. But anyway, I'm going to be wearing the GoPro on my head for my shots, you know, so you can see the gun and the squirrel maybe. But I'm also taking my big camera on my tripod stand because I'm going to try to really zoom in on that squirrel with my big camera, you know, try to get as much footage as I can before I make the shot. But anyway, what's going to be different about this squirrel hunt is taking a muzzleloader shotgun. Uh, not really seen a whole lot of videos on muzzleloader shotguns. I know there's several videos on muzzleloader rifles. So maybe this will be something different for everybody to watch, and hopefully, hopefully everybody will like it. So. I'm gonna show you the gun, and then we're gonna we're gonna get out of here, and get over there, and get everything ready. So this is the gun right here. Like I say, this is not a rifle. This is a shotgun, muzzleloader shotgun, and it was handmade, uh, except for the barrel. The barrel come off of a old Stevens. It's a Model 79 Stevens, 12 gauge, two and three quarters and three inch shells made by Savage Arms. Uh, you know, the the stock, you know, was obviously carved out by hand. So that's the unique part about it. And then, you know, the rest of it's just mechanical parts. But I've killed Two or three turkeys with this thing. Uh, it's full choke. It makes a good squirrel gun. I mean, about 30 to 40 yards, it's throwing a pretty good size pattern. Hey guys, one more thing I wanted to touch on before we leave. This is a quick load. You got your shot pellets on one end of course you know you don't want to start out that end you want to start out with this end this is your powder yep well, how well y'all can see that so what you'll do pour your powder in and before you put your shot in this is the most important part Never use gunpowder, always use black powder, obviously. So you put your black powder in, then what you're gonna do is you, these are three different sizes. You got a, a medium wadding, these are called waddings, waddings. Got a medium wadding, a thick wadding, or I think this actually has a different name, but I can't remember what it's called. And then another medium wadding so that's my that's my combination right there but so you got your powder in you put this pattern in first these three waddings in that order and you got to use your ramrod to shove it down in there and after that you pour your shot down in there over top of this so powder's going to be on the bottom waddings and your shot is going to be right there. And then this right here is the last thing you, you put on there. Uh, it's a patch, I think. That's what they call that. It's a real thin. It just keeps your shot from pouring out of the barrel. That's all it's for. But I just want to show you all that real quick.
folks. We are here. We got all the gear. Time to go shoot some squirrels. This is very difficult. snuck up on me guys I had to film it with the GoPro because it was so close I'm pretty sure you can see it on the GoPro it is extremely difficult to get these squirrels on this big camera period even with the tripod I mean it's just it's tough we're gonna go pick up our squirrel here in just a minute after I get reloaded See him branch. 
branches start shaking. I just saw one move. Here we go. the tree came out of. And there's the squirrel. I know he's just a little squirrel, but you always want to be careful. Just imagine what one could do to your finger. Take that barrel of that gun and do him just like you do a deer. I just seen one on the ground and he's not very far up the tree. We're gonna try to sneak up on him. He's not very far up that tree. I just can't see him. I think there's more up above us. Yes, sir. We got him. Man, this is just, this is awesome. I cannot even believe how awesome this is. That was a long way away. It was, well, it looks further on camera. It wasn't that far. About 20 yards. Well, folks, there's our squirrel. I don't know what's up with that. This thing, this camera's supposed to autofocus and it's just not. Well guys, it slowed down a little bit on me. So, I've got four squirrels now. If I get one more, it'll be five and I'm good with five. I mean, I've had a blast. Absolute blast. Well guys and girls, we didn't get a limit today, but we come real close. We had about five. Uh, I feel like that's pretty good. I feel like five, uh, five out of six is pretty good for a muzzle-loading shotgun. Uh, but I mean, it wasn't about, it wasn't about going out and getting a limit today for me. That was the case. I would say I'd have had a pump or an automatic shotgun, you know, not the muzzle loader, but 
what I wanted to do today was pretty much just show off my muzzleloader shotgun and maybe teach somebody something that's never messed with them, you know, and kind of give them an idea of what it's all about. Uh, once again, if you haven't subscribed, that would be great. I truly would appreciate that. Uh, like I said, I had to cut it a little short today. Uh, had to get back to the house. Got stuff to do. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and there'll be more to come. We've got bow season coming up. I'm trying to stick a stick a pig with an arrow. We've got the uh, fall smallmouth fishing trip coming up at Lake Cumberland. I mentioned that in one of my other videos. But yeah guys, just thanks a lot for sticking with me and I hope y'all enjoyed the video.